Mr. Lewison. In the past three years, the Ministry of Manpower was notified of salary reductions affecting less than 2% of non-domestic work permit holders per year. From that number, less than 1 in 10 were within one month and about 4 in 10 were within one year after the work permit was issued. As explained in a reply to a parliamentary question raised by, by the member on this topic last month, MWM is studying the issue and we will consult the relevant stakeholders to determine the best step forward for foreign workers. Thank you. Mr. Lewisong. I thank MWS for the reply. Can I just check for the following up? I mean, the 2% actually is about 14,000 workers every year. And it's quite a huge number. So I want to check whether MOM actually obtains this copy of the written consent uh, to show that the, the worker accepts the salary reduction, or do we only verify that this written consent exists when a dispute occurs during the dispute resolution stage? Uh, second, can I ask also, with the upcoming consultation, whether MOM will also be consulting with the NGOs uh, that are working on this issue as well. Thank you, Member. Now, uh, Louis. Um, so I think I'll take the second question first. Um, I think certainly we're open to have um, NGOs um, being consulted or getting giving feedback. Um, on the first question, certainly I think all the foreign workers have direct access to MOM if they want to make a complaint. At this moment, we don't take um, every change, every written change at the, at the point of application. But having said that, when there's a dispute that occurs, we will require that documentation to be provided for. Um, and the law protects the worker, especially if there's, when there is no documentation provided in terms of a written agreement of the change in salary. Thank you. Mr. Lewis. Thank you, sir. Just, just one more question, which is uh, whether we also, I understand the reply is that so five in ten of this salary reduction occurs uh, within one year from the work permit issue date. But can I also check whether we have data on how many uh, the salary reductions occur before the work permit issue date, which means um, they are, they are promised this salary, but when they arrive in Singapore, it is immediately reduced. And whether this actually this conduct constitutes uh, providing false information to MOM during the work permit application stage. Thank you. Um, in short, we, any reduction before the work permit issuance is uh, or it's an offence, so it's illegal. So technically, there is uh, no need for, for them to submit one or not only for this track because it's technically an offence. Thank you.